One more note on prostitutes in Fable Land. Mm -hmm. How much would it suck if a glamour wore out in the middle and you're fucking a troll with hemorrhoids and ass warts all over the place? That's like what you're into. You had your eyes closed at the time and just, yeah, and then you feel, you're like, why is it so bumpy suddenly? <laughs> you open your eyes, she's eating your face. Oh. Here we go. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> I could get into it, I think. Something smells like sour milk. <laughs> the pudding and pie. Mm, just give me the pie. Save the pudding for later. Don't know what it means, but somebody will make something out of that. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is she Georgie? Is it business uh, or oh, pleasure? Oh, I thought she... Or both. I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> yeah. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. She doesn't like me because I'm a friend? Or she doesn't believe she that doesn't I'm a friend? She doesn't believe it at all. Hmm. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. What do you mean? There's like seven Snow Whites in here. What the fuck? Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. It's a nice dress. Where we Feel cater the to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure thunder is our pleasure. Goodness. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Listen, you could be in danger. Oh, sweetie. We're all in danger. No, seriously. You're gonna die, probably. Holy shit! Holy Please. shit! Wow! Telltale moving on up! They what put boobs in! You look like you're trying to take a shit! Who's no, gonna want that? Good. No one's gonna want that! You fucking dozy bitch! Hey! Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. And they're very slow, boobies! It's your face! You have to smile. You never Medium. smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the... Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. But You're a real it. piece of shit, man. I can't wait. You, oh, I'm gonna... stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Hey. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight. Your sure modesty is be. I can. Yeah. It's your occupation. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. That's it. You piece of shit. Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> it's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Plus, my taste has, like, multiple teats. <laughs> okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No, 
I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. Is this some great strategy to get me to incriminate myself? Brilliant. I didn't this talk exactly for like what I would a half a second. Like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? We need an excuse to beat the shit out You're of this guy. <laughs> I broke his boombox. You! Take your sad fucking face when I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! <laughs> She's basically the most pathetic stripper you I've ever seen. You're proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Who's this guy? I don't know. He's very concerned. Fuck off, Hans. Oh, was it his boombox? Oh, I hope not. Hey! Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. I feel like smashing the boot <laughs> box would sure, hurt hands. Do, yeah. do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. Tell me about the book. What is this boom box? Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. Ah, fuck this. <laughs> you shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. This is just burning Do not Hans's life. Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. <laughs> I want to see it all. <laughs> oh, clues! Oh, well, what's this? Looks like a floor. Sink. I did the right thing uh, by being know. violent. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Bullshit. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Hurt yeah, I gotta do it. You guys can all be level-headed in your playthrough. Oh, I want to see this guy you, hurt. Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. A dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, 
Whistle a happy tune. Fucking, fucking talk then. Ah, oh, sweet. Bloody, we got a come key. on then. Jesus, you're an idiot. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of fame. What about my, my body ass. language made you think what I was gonna stop? Crap. Yeah. Moron. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's That's why I didn't hit him. I knew you were going to leave it for me, Fraser. <laughs> kick to the balls for me and my club so we can be happy about that. How many people do you think specifically play to watch alternate scenarios Here. knowing which one's all picked? <laughs> last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. This isn't But that let's be erotic. clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. <laughs> my Who? Who is my superior? Crane. He's Hello? Boss. Business office. Business office? <laughs> That's the name of the place. Business office? <laughs> I don't know, smoke. Yeah. They, they're called Huff and Puffs. That's what it said on it, Huff and Puff. That's funny. What? Yeah, it says Huff and Puff on it. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> what would they be saying to him? He hasn't said anything. You want the business office? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Georgie. Oh, are you going to tell on me? I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Why do I have to look at my handiwork? I'm going to go after the girl. Might have a time limit here. Who knows? I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Faith. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. That's why it said... Wait, who's Lily again? The troll? The, yeah. <laughs> can't miss that. Oh, can I? Excuse me. I heard you out there. Why'd you put clothes on? Whatever. I don't remember ever seeing you before. I won't get greedy. Before. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. <laughs> you make a shit stripper. <laughs> You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? Are the legs a glamour? You have legs. Kind of glamour? Or is this post-wish? No, they're Ursula. real. Ursula? Do you like them? They cost me a lot. You can't sing anymore? My name is Nerissa. Or did she replace your vaginal well, tentacles? Nerissa, I've got mm -hmm. some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. <laughs> I was picturing in an alternate. Oh, huh? Mm -hmm. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. Mm. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? 
This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I, I have to know. I book at all. Yeah. These lips. It's a spell. Yeah, they literally can't say. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? No! <laughs> Okay. It's pretty what clear she's hinting at something. Yeah. I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Oh, I look like a chump. <laughs> yeah. How's the detective? Wait here for a second. Oh, she's using her own money. I wonder if there would be a way to gang 150 at any point in the game. To uh, be able to make that different. Well, we gave money for a taxi cab once. But not 150. It is a room number. Not 207. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Georgie's cool with this. He knows what's going on, I'm sure. They say if I didn't pay Faith, but I only gave Faith like 40 bucks. How would I have gotten 150 for this? in the pocket? What? Fuck, I never, that's why I don't have multiple money. And you could have pocketed Twe Tweedle's money during the investigation. Oh! Interesting. All right, we'll be back after this. Gonna go get laid up in the open arms we are, by the oh. Little Mermaid. Okay. Hope you're in the mood for fish sticks. Fish sticks. 